Hello everyone, today I'm going to cover how I installed a microphone in my NB Miata. And as you can see from this first picture here, I modeled it in Fusion 360. It is based off of a Thingiverse design, and then I added the feature in the middle there to hold the microphone. Uh, the microphone came with my Sony head unit, so it was designed for that. It's a 0.51 inch diameter, and it holds the microphone in perfectly, so you just print and the microphone clicks into place there. And here are the print settings I used for this part. I used a spool of tough PLA and then I printed it what I would consider a draft quality. So that's 0.25 uh, millimeters and only two shells on us all sides. Typically I print with four or five, but in this part I just wanted it to go quickly. And then a 15% infill. And again, that's not very strong, but this part also doesn't have any real load or stress on it. So it's fine being relatively a simple part and you can see I was also printing a Raspberry Pi case there in the background. And after taking the part off the printer I sanded it down a little bit and then I used a Tamiya model putty for filling in some of the crevices and um, print artifacts and then I sprayed the whole thing with a primer, a model primer which is also from Tamiya and I sanded it down a little bit again and then I masked the microphone here before I painted it um, I had done a test fit earlier. After I finished masking off the part, I sprayed it with an airbrush and black acrylic airbrush paint. Came out very nice, I think. And you can see the masking there protected the microphone. So now that we have the part, I went out to my car here and I removed the driver's sud visor. The visors on the NB Miata are pretty much useless anyway, so I blanked them off with those Thingiverse parts quite some time ago anyway. And when I saw that there was a hole back behind there that I could run a wire through, I thought that that would be the perfect place to put my microphone. So as I showed in the first picture, I just modified the blank that I was already using with a microphone mount there. So here I have started to fish the wire through through. Um, for removing these visors, it's very easy. There's just two screws and then they come right off and then the blank just uses the same screws over again. And so I started to fish the wire through this hole here. Here you can see the wire coming out of the hollow A-pillar after removing the driver side trim. In order to remove that trim, you use a T40 Torx bit on the convertible latch bracket. And with those two large screws out, the trim comes off pretty easily with um, trim removal tools. Just be careful to pop it out and then pull it up. There's a bracket at the bottom that needs to come straight up a parallel to the A-arm. If you bend it out toward the steering wheel, you might break that piece. Note the location of the microphone jack and where it is coming out of the A-pillar. All the other holes and the A-pillar are used as mounting points for the trim panel. This is the only hole that it isn't, so I fed the wire through the hollow A-pillar, and then I used some needle nose pliers to get the piece out of there, and then I routed the microphone down the rest of the wire bundle that you see there. Moving down the left side of the car, right alongside the driver's door, there are two small rectangular panels that are used as covers over these bolt locations here for the dashboard. You don't need to remove any of the larger trim pieces. I was able to fish the wire down through the side here, just removing those little rectangular covers and uh, using a fish tape down through each of these holes here. So that brought the jack now down to where the fuse box is close to the clutch pedal. After bringing the wire down to the footwell area, you're basically done all the hard parts over. I simply routed the jack around some of the other brackets up underneath the steering wheel to prevent them from falling down in my footwell area. And then you can easily reach the back of the radio from the footwell. So in this picture here, just to the left of the old Bose amplifier connector, you can actually see the pedal down there. So you can see how much room you have. It's really easy to hold the jack in one hand underneath the footwell and then just reach in the radio area here and connect your microphone. 
And if you're interested on how I did this amplifier bypass, I have a whole video on that. There's a link in the description below, and I'll also have a link up in the corner here, and you can check out how to do a full stereo install and Bose amplifier bypass on an MB Miata. And here's what the completed project looks like. You have a nice microphone mount in place of the old visor. Uh, it doesn't stick into my line of vision at all, and it puts the microphone nice and close to where my mouth is, so Siri activation works really, really well. I have no problems talking on the phone with Bluetooth, and overall I'm really happy with it. Uh, if you're interested in doing this project yourself, you can check out my modified blank off plate on Thingiverse. There will be a link in the description below. And if you found this helpful, please give a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.